Hi everybody, uh, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial with the Photographer Academy, I'm Mark Leghorn and today we're talking about a quick cutout for hair. So we're going to be kind of taking uh, what was the original uh, raw image as you can see here, quickly through the kind of the cutting out process, adding a new background in there, a little bit of skin retouching along the way and just uh, seeing how we can kind of follow this through. So uh, first things first, um, obviously we'd be usually working from the raw file um, and we would just literally take ourselves into the uh, raw here, as I said, kind of double click in to open it up into the ACR via bridge. And then I'd just be going in and kind of fixing any of the little bits that we're going to. We're not doing that today, okay? So I'm just going to quickly, uh, quickly, I should say, open it up. And uh, even though I've already got uh, this file originally opened in Photoshop, it's the same file name, it's not been saved or whatever it is, you can see that I can kind of uh, open a duplicate file. One of the films that we've done in the past is where we're overlaying the same raw file over each other to actually bring the different kind of gradings up and so on. The first things I want to do though, quick fix uh, as far as the face is concerned, I'm just going to go and grab the patch tool just kind of go there and actually just drag around the kind of slight bagging around the eye there. I want it a little bit heavy. Uh, the patch tool for me is just a, a really kind of quick blending mode. Um, we're not going to soften here yet. We'll soften in a minute. I want to get straight into the cutting out. So straight in now and pick up any of the kind of uh, uh, selection tools. And I'm just going to click on the button select and mask. Remember, the way that we select is first of all for the body, secondly, uh, secondary for the hair. So uh, when we kind of enter into the uh, uh, main window here, if it's set on 100% on the transparency, you're not going to see anything. So at least kind of drop this back. I'm in onion skin. We've got different varieties to actually look at uh, the kind of the sub the subject, but we haven't done anything yet. So the first thing to first is click on the select subject at the top here on the head header. Once that's done, we're going to basically see it straight away. And at this stage, remember, once Photoshop uh, it's done its job and things really, um, we're going to work just on the actual body selection. So all we're interested in what's going on down here, not within the head. Don't get yourself confused. So the first thing would be is uh, probably going to need to smooth out because it's going to be some kind of jagged. Remember, less is more. So in other words, don't smooth it out too much. Otherwise, it's going to look pretty pathetic. The bobbling that's going on here is to do with the dress. We'll pick that up now in a minute. So we're just going to increase the contrast here, see what's going on, see if we can kind of just bring a little bit more of an edge. But it's really this smoothing of the kind of the skin is going to be our main part. If, if in doubt, change away to one of the other views and you'll see what's going on in here. The main thing to begin with is we've kind of done the, we've, even without seeing it, I know we've cut out the body, so we don't really need to worry about that much. We are going to be adding on a texture background anyway, so we don't have to be too specific. Uh, let's just once more, they'll go in now and adjust the hair. So we opened it with a layer mask. You can see it's changed now. Double clicking onto that layer completely over opens it up. We want to go into the refine edge tool. And then all we're going to do is basically um, paint around the image and just bring the, de uh, the detail in back. So let Photoshop do its job, of course. Don't rush it too much. And then wait for the kind of the ring of desire, whatever you want to call that. Uh, uh, <laughs> kind of this ring when it goes around is the timer obviously but I don't know what you give it a name as but just going from there so you know what we've done a brilliant job there on the actual um, hair as it is to be honest so I don't think we need to finesse it she's blonde on grey we're going to have a texture on black anyway even though the kind of output here as you can see is already set to layer mask it won't create another layer mask going to press ok and we've got our hair back, so it's done a pretty good job. The only thing is I've missed that little bit of gray in there. Double clicking once more. And I'm just gonna go back to the onion skin, in fact, so I can see it outside of the hair and just kind of pick it through. All right, pressing okay. Great, I'm just gonna go in and add a new layer. We're gonna put this to uh, black, so D for default. And then we'll just kind of um, uh, alt and the backspace, 
push this down towards the lower part here and all red and we've got a really good kind of uh, background kind of cut a cut out with it I want to add that uh, kind of a jagged effect this is one of my uh, old master backgrounds that I created so just dragging that in uh, you can see where it is already I need to make it bigger I'm just going to drag it out double clicking on that to begin with and pretty much within what five or six minutes there we've created uh, a huge difference within the image itself if I want to go in now and uh, soften the skin down a little bit more just go to control J um, I don't need uh, the kind of the mask at that point or if we prefer I can just make a selection by pressing control onto this layer mask then just pressing control J and that will actually uh, create uh, the girl by herself as you can see on the top there let's now go into filter uh, blur and a Gaussian blur I use this kind of um, to completely smooth the foundation obviously for a high-end fashion kind of retouching you wouldn't want to do it like I like this you need pause and everything else um, the first things first though we're going to just change this into the uh, screen mode just to kind of lighten we're going to change the opacity down to actually the layer that we're going to have that's pretty good now on the skin we've brought some of the tech the texture back we could probably bring this down a little bit more in fact about 20% yep yeah, better and now I'm just going to uh, click onto the mask but as I click onto the mask I press the alt key and that will actually hide what are the adjustments that we just did so now B for brush, D for default, that puts uh, the brush and then the white on top black underneath. And we're just going to go in now and actually start to paint in. So remember, uh, black hides and white reveals. So we're just kind of painting this through as we go. If we make a mistake, we can just actually press X and put black on top again, of course. Just go from there. Good skin remembering the neck as well when we do these things so we can just actually move that opacity up to actually either e increase or decrease the light uh, the lightness and that's us pretty done we've uh, cut out the image we selected the hair you can see through here in fact it's done a really good job actually allowing me to actually show through the background so if you're looking at a quick fix for a teen market then this is a perfect way to do it hope you enjoy the film see you on the next one bye bye